Hey everyone, welcome to my first video called Front Yard, or for my channel Front Yard Dad. Basically doing dad stuff, mainly lawn, making some pizzas, dad stuff. Got a little bit of a go-kart I'm working on, some hydroponics. So this is the review of the Scott's Elite Mower you can get at Home Depot. Now I can go get an Amazon mower probably save you 30 40 bucks and um, you know when you want to mow you want to mow and you're not going to wait for Amazon so I figured show, showcasing a sought after Home Depot mower um, answer your questions this is a annual ryegrass that I planted just as a as a test and also some erosion control as you can see we're in Southern California San Diego and we have an erosion problem um, gophers are also eroding the hillside kind of a mess but yeah I have a front yard with Yukon Bermuda and I bought this for that but I've mowed that grass so we're gonna have to deal with this I think thicker annual ryegrass and I've hacked the machine there's a little spacer right here somewhere I took it off and just tossed it there's a spacer right there if you take that spacer out you can move this to the side and you can actually elevate this to the highest level which is not something that you can do with that spacer still installed so if you wanted to go to your lowest low take that spacer out and then you can move those wheels I think the spacer is actually outside somewhere maybe it'll reveal itself I kind of wanted to make a second video on how to remove that spacer but I think most of you will get the gist of it okay so here's front yard wife gonna Hi mow this grass. Go ahead and get going. Oh man. Now keep in mind everyone this is on this the low factory low setting. And oh that tree oh that tree got munched. Did you guys see that? So that uh Brazilian pepper tree just got mowed. That's a weed tree in at least in our area. These things sprout everywhere and they grow so fast this grass is barely what two weeks old three weeks old yes. and it's already got this big old tree in it go ahead and mow them mow them down again maybe put some more force oh dude he got the low cut he got the low cut look at that that tree just got blasted all right let's go mow this whole lawn Sure. 
Basically, I'm mulching it. Another tree got mowed. Little baby pepper tree. Good question is if you can cut thick stemmy stuff. I mean, it's really mowing those Brazilian pepper trees really well. Look at little Reese. Look at little Reese in the grass. Reese, get back down there. Looks cute, huh? This is why you you grow a lawn, right? This is why you you have uh, grass in your backyard, or you try to grow grass. If you have kids. Kids love playing in the grass. It's built into them. And you know, in this digital world, everything's on a phone or an iPhone. And, then you start seeing these statistics from children with depression, depression and diabetes and all this other stuff. I think this, if you're a parent and you haven't thought about, I mean, in Southern California, it takes work to maintain a lawn, but if you haven't thought about it, you should. All right, here's a thick weed. Murdered. Just getting some air though. Right there guys. Stay tuned, I'm gonna try and uh, make a video about catching them. What do you think, Reese? Is this a good mower? It's a good mower, huh? All right. Let's let the uh, front yard grow a little bit. We're gonna do the Bermuda next. And um, the volume's moving. If that stops moving, this thing on the side, if it doesn't match my voice, there's something wrong, okay? Okay. You recording already? I clap because it puts things in my bar so I can edit it. All right, people, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been raining. It's cloudy. This grass is a week old. Go ahead and take a look. And it really didn't grow very much. The backyard is a cool season grass that you saw, and that's already regrown, but this didn't do much. Um, but a message from my sponsor, which is me. Come on over here, guys. Like I said, like, subscribe. And I'm working on a go-kart. I'm working on 3D printers, making pizza. But I need those subscriptions so I can put time into this. And you can see my workshop. And it's got a lot of cool, fun stuff. Um, so like, subscribe, comment. And encourage me to keep coming on here and doing stuff for you guys. So the Scott's Elite 16-inch. This is a Yukon Bermuda grass. I bought it from... Um, I'll put the Hancock seed, I think is what it's called. And I, I was planted this at the end, the beginning of September. So basically it was out of season. And in about three weeks, I already had somewhat of a lawn. And then after five weeks, I had something I could work with. So even though it was out of season, um, we had a heat wave. If you guys like probably around the country, there's heat waves in September. So even though they recommend doing it the start of spring and summer and warm temperatures, I got this out of season. So here we go, Yukon Bermuda. My wife just hit the 
a little Halloween decoration over here. Man, Train, you're quite the cinematographer. <laughs> Man, I wish I could mow this. I wish I could mow this for you guys during the summer, because when this was thick, when it was still a heat wave, um, this would go through and it would just really launch uh, little um, blades of grass into the air. It was pretty cool looking. We're gonna go shoot right here. This is probably the thickest part of the yard, I think, because it gets the most sunlight and the water runs off over here, so it gets the best of both worlds. And here we go. Look at that. This is not flat terrain, guys. This thing is bumpy. I did not level this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Got a little, probably a little branch in there. Some force that doesn't happen too often. And that's it. Does that look good? It looks mowed, right? Scott's Elite. Do I recommend this as a buy? Absolutely. It's a great starter mower for 160 bucks. And if you're not trying to get fancy with it, and like I said, you're Southern California, we don't really got big lawns. We got okay size lawns. This is probably a really good option for you. So, like, subscribe, ring the bell icon. Everyone says the same thing. And encourage me to make more videos. Thanks a lot and have a great day. All right, guys. So, I was going to end it off there. But, see how, how even when it's not growing, when it's mowed, it looks, just looks great. Even though it's dormant or getting getting ready to get dormant. This is Yukon Bermuda, so it has a little bit better properties than your standard Bermuda. But let's go do some St. Augustine. Follow me, camera lady. I got permission from my neighbor. We can do a St. Augustine really fast. So for you guys wondering if they can cut that thick St. Augustine grass, here we go. Like, subscribe.